A D S R Pro. Hi guys and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're looking at the new Cubase 9.5 which has just been released and we're going to delve straight into the new feature of Bezier Curves. Now this has been long awaited by a lot of users. Yeah, let's have a look. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to automate the volume of this loop here and we can create points as normal, basically like we used to do. Uh, the difference being now is as you can see in the center of this point you get two little markers. Now one allows you to increase and decrease the volume in between those two markers and this little circle here allows you to create the Bezier curves. So the more drastic the volume change the more you can create a curve to suit your needs. Which is kind of nice. I like it. I mean I've not really um, personally missed out on this feature because as far as I'm aware the volume automation within Cubase previously even though it wasn't a curve was a smooth transition so um, yeah so there you go let's have a little listen So there you go, a uh, nice little introduction to the new feature of Bezier Curves. This is going to take me a little while to get used to. Uh, like every new feature, usually it takes a little while to get your head around. Um, do I find this useful? Actually, yes, I do. Um, it's going to let me create quite complex rhythms um, or gated effects um, you know, within Cubase. So yeah, I certainly like this feature at the top there where you can just grab a section, just drop the volume down a bit. I really like that. So you can see you can create um, quite rhythmical patterns with the automation, which used to take a bit of a while, if I'm honest. So yeah, it's definitely going to speed up my workflow. Um, like it. There you go. As per usual, please do subscribe to my channel if you find it useful. And of course, I'll be doing more in-depth videos uh, within the next few weeks. Until next time, bye-bye. A. D. S. R. Pro.